I don't know if you all can see my food. You're here with Sweet C, aka Miss N Banks. Go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below and put on your notifications so when I post my videos, you will get the latest content. You guys, I'm going to go ahead and do my shout outs because I had a few people that I missed last time. So, Forgive me if I don't say your name. It's not because I don't want to shout you out. It's just because I look at so many channels, so many great channels. And so right um, off the bat, I want to give a shout out to Sharika and Eating Pretty Mukbangs. Um, also, Black Denim. Let's cook something amazing with Black Denim. Please check out his channel and see what he's cooking amazing during the week. I want to give a shout out to Mia and Corey's Mukbang Life and Rail. And guess what, you guys? I'm giving a shout out to It's Wani. And her husband's name is also Rail. I just noticed that. So, what's up to Mia and Corey's Mukbang Life and Rail? And It's Wani and Rail. <laughs> so, that's kind of cute. Um, also, I want to give a shout out to the EWPPG, Eat with Philly Field Gang. That's my girl. Chilling Wolf Walt and the Puff Puff Gang. Kicking it with Sin City and the Sin City crew. Tay and Lou. What's up, Thang Thang Gang Gang? Miss Glow Glow and the Double L Gang. B Loves Life, Nate and Family. Tosh and Steph. Ayo Trav. Cashmere. Wanna Eat, the impersonator and her mother. They are so cute and funny together. Miss Katrina G and the Love Jones family, and it's Kim B. So, yes, and I want to give a special shout out, you guys, to y'all know I like my music. So, I'm going to give a special shout out to um, Legend Car Audio Installation and Repairs, open seven days a week. And I'm not quite sure of the hours, but I know they're open. He's open seven days a week. So that's Legend Car Audio Installation and Repairs, MJ. <laughs> All right, you guys. So I've gotten my shout outs out the way. Tonight I had to pin this hair up, you guys. It is hot. Where I am in my city, it was 95 degrees today, plus the humidity. So it didn't make it any better. So as you guys can see, I am wearing my K-Bling bracelet. Oh, that looks hot. Ah, that's real rock star. You guys, that looks hot. So I'm going to go ahead and say grace and I'm going to get it in. Heavenly Father, thank you for this mirror I have prepared before me. Let it nourish and strengthen my body. Dear Lord, please bless those who do not have a meal before them tonight, dear Lord. Bless all of those who have been rioting and protesting on both sides, dear Lord. Riots are not good for anybody. It's not going to make a difference unless you use your voice honestly and um, wisely. Uh, bless those who are still protesting and who have been hurt by uh, law enforcement or ha who have been hurt with uh, being trampled in these peaceful protests, dear Lord. Keep them safe. Um, Dear Lord, and, and help the the vendors and the owners of business, businesses please recover from their losses and damage merchandise and goods. In your, in your son Jesus' name, amen. Yes, you guys, um, I got to check out some of the downtown area where I live. It's a mess. It's a hot-ass mess. And with that said, my channel is not for haters, trolls, or children. Okay, this is an adult platform where we can let our hair down and we can talk about adult things and we can have adult conversations. And guess what? Somebody asked me in one of the comments how old I was. I, I'm thinking that's, that's a compliment because I did say that my oldest daughter is 24. She's going to be 25 in uh, the wintertime. I don't want to give out the months of their birthdays. But I do have a son and he's um, getting ready to have a birthday. He's turning 23 and my baby girl is getting ready to turn 21 this summer and my baby is getting ready to turn 20 this summer. So yes, I have children from the age of 20 to 20. 
five, getting ready to be 20 to 25. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm not a spring chicken if that's what the little fellow was thinking. So yeah, thank you. Thank you for asking. I am not ashamed to tell my age. I'm 44. Get ready to go turn 45. So um, yeah, so with that said, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead since I'm giving out all the juice. Um, tonight here I have my um chalupa. I did flatbread like a chalupa. I fried it a little bit, and I have lettuce, tomatoes, spring onions, cheese, and I have my sour cream here. I'm gonna just add a little bit of sour cream to it. Y'all not gonna believe how much I paid for this sour cream. Well, y'all might. Those that I mean, I don't eat sour cream all the time, but I was just amazed at how cheap it was because um, when I go out to some of the more expensive restaurants, and none of them really are open right now where I go, and um, they just don't seem to want to give you too much sour cream. I don't know why. I ask for sour cream, and you gotta just keep telling them, "Excuse me." Can you bring me a little bit more sour cream to the table? And then they come back with an even smaller container. I'm like, oh my God. Anyway, I'm not going to complain, you guys. Let me put a little bit more of this lemon on it. I have my, my beef. I didn't do chicken tonight. I did do beef. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm just going to straighten myself out here real quick. I was sitting in an awkward position. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, this uh, tune that I was listening to earlier, as you guys know, I always love to listen to music from the YouTube studio. So that was Ooh Wee. And we'll hear it again in just a bit. Mmm. is so good. So you guys, mm. things are trying to get back to normal in my city. not going to get back to normal real fast, but I think it's going to take some time. I think it's going to take a while. I did get a chance to look at the uh, sermon and the funeral procession for George Floyd. It was beautiful. Reverend Al Shopton spoke um Y'all know something? I used to love some Al B. Shore when I was coming up. Al B. Shore was sitting down with his fine ass in the front row. Oh, and he don't look like he'd have got a day older. He don't look like he no more than in his 30s. Seriously, Al B. Shore looks fine. And he was old when I was a little girl. He was older than I was when I was a little girl. You know what I'm saying? Um... Tyler Perry and Floyd Mayweather paid for all of the funeral procession and services. It was beautiful. It's, it wasn't even about the money. It was just the fact how fast they jumped in. Because this family, their father was taken from them. He was, he was murdered. And that was a blessing to have a lot of celebrities pitch in. It was more celebrities than just Tyler Perry and um, Floyd Mayweather. But mainly, they just they jumped in first. Jamie Foxx. Um, T.I. Oh, my God. 
I, I mean, if I miss anybody, I apologize. But I, I do, I would, I want to say the celebrities on my platform as well, but I don't know all of them that contributed. So I'm going to go back and look because they had a, they had a list of celebrities who just was like, that was uncalled for and we're going to help. She doesn't have to do anything. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. And um, of course, you know, his brother spoke. His his real brother spoke. And also um, his his brother, his, his twin brother lookalike in uh, culture, Stephen Jackson. He, he said he didn't want... Trump saying his brother's name out of his mouth. And, uh, I don't want to be political on my platform. I'm here to keep it fun. We're eating. But I wanted to say that that funeral procession was beautiful. And after, it was about three and a half hours long or more. After they left the, uh, the hall where they were where the funeral took place, the church, they put that beautiful gold casket. And I bet it was all real gold, too. I bet it was all real gold. They put it on a horse and carriage and rode him through the city so that the onlookers and the people that protested and riot could see him, could see the body. Could see what well, could see the casket going by. That was awesome. Now, what has to happen in a lot of cities is now the protesters are trying to clean up to help because they were not the ones even out there rioting. They were never doing anything destructive or anything. They were peacefully protesting. And a lot of the peaceful protesters got uh, sprayed with a, a gas, mustard, like, like a little gas or whatever. And it, it was just, it's people that take a good thing or they're, they, they're, I call them opportunists. They take an opportunity of anything. To, to damage, steal, destroy, and all kinds of stuff. And they made it bad for the real protesters who were out there trying to make a difference for this man and his family and the, and the communities and all of the states. Man, when I tell you this thing was in Africa, this thing reached all the way over to Africa. And, and they were holding up signs in Africa and Europe and... Asia and China. So, this was this was bigger than just you know somebody's life being taken. It was just it's about the justice system and it being uh, abuse of power. People using their 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 ability to be carrying weapons and and wearing a uniform to abuse their power. So. We're getting ready to get no lynching laws. And what I mean by that, I did hear the, uh, I think it was the mayor of the city of Missouri. No, Houston. He said after the funeral, he had to go back and sign the paperwork to change the laws in his police jurisdiction. Mm. So, what will happen is, in every state, they're going to change the law to where there's, it's called this no lynching law, which means there will be no knee on the neck, there will be no choke holes, there will be no elbow holes, or anything that causes a person's breathing to stop. There'll be no standing on the chest, the backs, none of that. They will be exhausting all methods of warning before they shoot or before. And then I don't understand. If you're handcuffed already, where do they need to slam you on your stomach and stand on your back? 
And if you're handcuffed and you already have the zip ties on your feet, where is it that you are a danger anymore to three or four officers? You're already handcuffed. You already got your feet shackled or zip tied. You're already laying on your belly. You can't run anywhere. So where is there a need to stand you up and get behind you and choke you out? <laughs> where is the need to do all of that? So, yeah, Kevin Garner, Trayvon Martin, the other young lady that was killed, um, George Floyd, and many others. Um, what's the name? Uh, I can't think of it's It's many others that were mistreated and uh, life had been taken. And, and we just want officers to know that we, we understand that your job is stressful. But you don't have to take it so far that, you know, that you know what you're doing is wrong. Oh. And right, they did say the other officers were just as wrong as he was for the murder. Because they stood by and they did nothing. They assisted him with killing. Instead of saying, hey, pull back. This is wrong. We're using too much force. You know? But anyway, you guys. This is delicious. This is my fried... It's not flatbread. This is um like a pita. And so when you fry it just for about two minutes, it makes like this nice golden, thick, crispy chalupa type bread. Mm. It's so good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. My glass says treat yourself. <laughs> My glass says, treat yourself. So tonight I did. Seagram's Escape. <laughs> Passion Fruit Mango. So no ginger ale tonight, you guys. This is so good. <clears throat> So I'm going to take a few more bites. And also, you guys, like I was saying in my last video, it cut off. But it's um, not good to be all the way broke in a pandemic and a crisis and protesting. So save. Go ahead to Federal Credit Union and uh, connect and uh, save some money. Put some money in the bank. The banks are not going to crash. They have computers, so they know how much money you had in it. So if it's robbed or if it's burned down or whatever, there are systems that can tell how much money you had in the bank. So don't be afraid to put your money in a bank, okay? I would rather a computer system in a bank telling me, oh, we know she had a couple of grand in the bank, you know, but versus somebody saying, oh, I had so much money in the bank and the bank got... Uh, burned down and now we won't know how much money I had. I had hundreds of thousands. That That's not going to work. That lie not going to work. <laughs> Go ahead and put your money in the bank. Then if anything happens to the bank, we you know that your, your money was there, you know. So I'm going to take some more bites to eat. And you guys enjoy this track. This is called A. It's called Ooh Wee. Ooh Wee. And this is from the YouTube studio. It's non-copyright music. So you guys go ahead and enjoy this.
I'm Sweet C, you guys, a.k.a. Miss N. Banks. Go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. Put on your notification bell so when I post my videos, you'll get the latest content. Don't forget to comment down below, you guys, and let me know all the things that you have been doing to distract yourself from all of the shenanigans going on, okay? And once again, I want to give a shout out to, a special shout out to Legend Car Audio Installation and Repairs. Open seven days a week, 24 hours, okay? Once again, a special shout out to Legend Car Audio Installation and Repairs. Just ask for MJ. By the way, you guys, I got this nice meal from Food Lion. So I want to say shout out to Food Lion because they stayed open the entire pandemic. And also tonight, you guys, I was in the store and there was this guy in there. He had his dreads kind of up, nice dreads and a nice African style, king African style. And uh, he had a bunch of gold teeth in his mouth. And he was running up and down the aisle like he was on the... Uh, Price is Right. He said, excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking to fix my girl something nice tonight. And he was like, what can I fix to go with this, uh, some kind of cheese? It was like, um, some kind of cheese, like, um, the cream, the creamy cheese. So I said, now, I don't know what she likes, but with that kind of, uh, Alfredo. So, if you are eating Alfredo cheese tonight and you got mushrooms and spring onions in it, I want to just give a shout out to that guy because it looks like he was all he was going all out to make his dinner special for his lady tonight. And that's what counts that he tried. And it was before the store closed. So what's up to that guy? He's getting a thumbs up. You don't see many guys who care too much about what their lady eats. Oh, she eat this and she'll be fine. You try that shit with me. Try bringing me home some old dry chicken fingers or whatever that's been cold sitting in your car for hours. Don't don't. So what's up to that person? I don't know his name. I didn't get his name, but I'm trying to describe him as best I could. He had some little dreads and it was like a ponytail twisted up in a man bun. And it really looked like a really nice king uh, style that he had. And I know he just had a bunch of gold teeth in his mouth. I ain't seen that in a long time. I'm like, dang. <laughs> He was like, I'm trying to fix my girl something. Oh, by the way, he said he did car detailing and he cleaned houses. I don't know about cleaning houses with the coronavirus going on. He might catch something and bring it home. So you might want to stay out of people's houses. But yeah, he said he did car detailing and he cleaned houses. So if you know that guy, he's getting a thumbs up. You know, he's doing something for his community. Y'all like, share. Subscribe to his page if he got one. I don't know who he is, but if you guys know who that was, uh, he was in the city of Richmond. He was shopping at the food line tonight and he had all those gold teeth with the dreads going up in his hair. And he said he was trying to make his lady a special dinner. 
So he's getting the A plus in my book. That's awesome. <laughs> so good luck with your car detailing and good luck with the cleaning the houses too. You know, that's a black owned gentleman and he's trying to get his business up and coming. So help a brother out, you guys. That's why I was giving him a shout out. Help a brother out. So yeah. So yeah, I got this <laughs> lovely dinner of mine from Food Lion. I just wanted to say thank you so much to their employees. They were open the entire time of the pandemic, the uh, riots and everything. And, uh, and they keep their baskets clean because Lord knows I'm still afraid of that stuff. I wear my glass, my uh, gloves and my uh, glasses and my mask when I go out. I just, I'm not too fond of touching a lot of stuff. Um, so I come in and I'm washing all up my hands and arms and I'm washing my face inside of my nostrils. I'm just doing it all. I mean, y'all probably say she doing the most, but I'm scared of that shit. <laughs> and like I said, you guys, my channel is for adults. This is an adult platform. So there'll be a few curse words here and there. Not too many, though, because um, my brothers have to watch. And I don't, I don't really hear my brothers. I have a lot of brothers. And I don't really hear my brothers curse too much. I hear my sisters say a few curse words. We say a few curse words. But I don't really hear my brothers cursing. So I don't want to be on um, my platform cursing and my brother's like, ugh, her mouth. <laughs> but I, I can not curse when I'm ready, so... Don't get me started. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So you guys. Um, um, yeah. So once again. Rest in peace to. Um, George Floyd. And rest in peace. with uh, To Cooking with Tracy. Who uh, passed away just this week. So. You guys. Uh, they'll be greatly missed. They'll be greatly missed. And with that said, I am Sweet C, a.k.a. Miss Ann Banks. Go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below and put on your notification bell so when I post my content, you get the latest information. Don't forget, you guys, go ahead and put your money in the bank. Don't be afraid. Have something to show proof that you did own a bank account. Don't just, if something happens again, don't say, oh, I lost all my money. The bank was burned and that, 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 The bank was robbed. Go ahead and put your money in the bank. It's safe. We have systems to prove that you have the money in there, okay? All righty. Go ahead and connect with Federal Credit Union. Go ahead and get connected. I'm Sweetie, a.k.a. Miss Ann Banks. Don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. Put your notification bell on. And I, when I post my videos, you will get the latest information and content.